Hello everybody, it's Donna. Welcome back to my channel, Donatella Botolino. Okay, so I got a call from my dealer. Yes, my dealer. <laughs> There's a man who has been collecting toys for years and years and he needs to buy his teenage daughter a car. And he is interested in selling his entire collection. So we are gonna go and take a look and see what we can find. Oh boy, guys, that was just so scary. So I'm out of breath. The truck in front of me, it was a work truck. A big, huge ladder came flying out of the back of his truck and some sort of like torch tank or something. And it was like right in front of me. And thank goodness, because I was recording and I was paying attention, right? So you have to be so careful recording. So this guy that's pulling up next to me, I gotta ask him if that was his, uh, if that was his stuff. Hey! <laughs> was that, was that the man's stuff that yeah. lost all the load? Yeah. Oh, he saw that he lost it and yeah. pulled over? I thought it was the guy that didn't stop and help me pick it up. Oh. No, it was him. Okay, good. All right. all right, thank you. Yeah, so I pulled over and I, um, I asked a guy, I'm like, there was a guy in like the, the next lane. I mean, there was a huge ladder and a big tank in the middle of the road. And it's like bumper to bumper traffic right now. I mean, I can show you, look. I mean, look at, it's like rush hour, you know? It's like bumper to bumper traffic. It's absolutely crazy how much traffic. So I pulled, I, I, I stopped the truck and I said to the truck in the, in the next lane over to me, it, there was a man in there and the tank was really heavy. And I said, can you get out of the truck and help me lift this? I'm trying to avoid an accident. And he was just like looking at me and he said, no, no. I'm like, did you really just say no to me? So the guy behind me, he was like, I'll help you. <laughs> I was like, well, thank you. And so I grabbed the ladder and then I, and, and he grabbed the big heavy tank. And then the guy that lost the load came running. He, he saw that he lost the load. So he came running. So he got his load. So, you know, accident diverted because I mean, that could have caused a, ma a major accident, you know, on a busy road like this today. Anyways, whew, that was like, it was scary and it was nerve wracking at the same time. Like who says no, who says no to a woman that's like stopped in the middle of the road trying to lift a heavy tank? What is wrong with some people? And so many people were just like blinders on, just sight unseen, like didn't even care. Just drove by, just kept driving by, he, just cars like, I know everybody's, you know, it's 3.30 in the afternoon. I know everybody wants to get home. I know people have things to do, but man, I'll tell you what, sometimes you kind of like lose faith in, in humanity, you know, like that was just, it was, it was, it was crazy. Anyways, okay, we're on our way. We're on our way, we're gonna go take a look at this man's collection. Um, it's about a 40 minute drive, so uh, come along for the drive and I'll uh, show you what I'm gonna get. Oh, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification because I go live almost every day. <laughs> so if I'm not going live, I'm uploading a, a video. So yeah, don't forget, thumbs up and subscribe, all right. Let's go for a drive. We got 40, 45 minutes to go here.
Okay, guys, so you are looking at, at this man's incredible collection of Funko Pops. I did buy some items from him, just not uh, any of these Funko Pops. They are resellers, so they are looking them up and they are listing them on Macari and Poshmark and eBay. And they, they know the value of them and I think that their prices were really high. But stay tuned because I'm going to show you some of the items that I did buy um, from their collection. However, if you do see something in this video that you would like me to inquire about, they are motivated sellers. Some of the items are just uh, really high, but they are motivated sellers and will consider um, some offers. So you folks let me know, like I said, I left all of these behind. The man has literally thousands of dollars invested in this pretty extensive collection. He was buying them when a lot of people were buying them, hoping that they would be worth a lot of money. And unfortunately, I think some of them are kind of um the, so many were made that the market is flooded i thought this batman collection was pretty awesome 100 dollars is what they wanted for that box so i left it behind just too much money um i did get these ninja turtles and i did get um some of these oh this this collection here the ghostbusters they wanted a lot of money for these the um box right there the predator these boxes here i think that was six and he wanted a hundred dollars for the six pieces i didn't look them up i don't know the value of them they just seemed pretty expensive to me but holy cow so this is what he's looking to get rid of and we're gonna see i'll be back so here there we are back at the cottage and i did um uh... This is some of the collection that I bought from him. I think I got some pretty cool stuff. I, I have no idea who these monsters are, but they are pretty scary. And I have all these action figures here, which I thought were really cool. And these are all Transformers, including this truck. All of these Transformers, which are pretty incredible. I have a uh, at least one 30 gallon tote full of these transformers as well as what you see here on the shelf then there's all of these guys um i don't know the names of a lot of these but i think i was pretty fortunate shout out to christopher chatworth i by chit he bought me that beautiful lava lamp a couple of years ago and it's a treasure of mine and i do have a lot of these um packaged sort of I guess bubble packaged uh, action figures Lord of the Rings I have probably two or three 30 gallon totes full of those as well these uh, these action figures here are pretty amazing also and then I did get um, some Star Wars stuff and uh, some more of these these guys here I don't know anything about them and probably oh i don't know three or more totes filled with these um ninja turtles i've already um, filled some orders from a little short that i did oh and i still have all these m ms that we have to uh that we have to sell it but um the uh, someone reached out to me and i did fill a big order of the ninja turtles already some of those will be bringing uh, to auction Anyway, this is uh, just a few of the items that I have. I'll show you some of the so others. Like I was saying, here is one of the totes that's filled, and here's another tote that's filled. And I guess I did get some of the Ghostbusters stuff, I don't know. And then lots and lots of uh, different Disney plush, and these are more Transformers, and I have... Um, all these totes here on the bottom that are also full there's a pretty extensive collection of and stuff another another big box full of superheroes 
Spider-Man and Star Wars. I haven't gone through any of this. This is a pretty big box and um, we need to go through it and we will be bringing all this stuff to auction for sure. Okay, friends, so I'm back at the reseller cottage and look at my background. Looks like a toy store, it's pretty incredible. So Dolores and I went out today and we enjoyed our day. And so the next part of the video is just a small clip of us going to McDonald's and Dunkin' Donuts and trying to get a cup of coffee and stay tuned, it's actually quite funny. Hey buddy, I said like three times no sugar. Uh, if you want, just go to the next one and then you let them know, okay? Cause I, I, I put it for you. I'm like so disappointed. No espresso, sugar, I mean, sugar they, in my... I, 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 put it, I put it in the machine, but it's up to them if they make it right. All right. Coffee's really important to some people. I, to I, me, it's like the most important part of the day. Like, <laughs> like there's a guy that always comes like at night. I already know every time he walks in, I have to brew fresh new coffee. Cause like, and he wants to see it. Like, this is like one we have like by front lobby. And then you can see it. And every time we do, I have to do it like brand new. You know, you know that McDonald's motto, have it your way? Yeah. Is that, or is that Burger King? All right. Huh? Is that Burger King or McDonald's? <laughs> I think it's Burger like one King. Of these, one of these days I'm just going to pull up and I'm just going to say, just make it any way you want. Because <laughs> that's how you guys do it. You get what you get and you don't get upset. They close the door. Like no, 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 no. I said three times no sugar and I got sugar. I, I ordered this, I said three times, I said no sugar to the men. And you added sugar. Somebody added sugar to this. Uh, that's a nice coffee? It's, yes, it's a nice coffee. At the moment, or I, you don't have iced coffee right now. What do you mean you don't have any iced coffee? I came here, I came here for espresso <laughs> and for iced coffee. And you have, your espresso machine is broken. And you made me the wrong iced coffee. Man, we don't have any iced coffee to show at the moment. Like, we just ran out. You just ran yeah, out. Just... Okay, well then, do I get a refund? You want a refund? I, I guess. I can't drink this. It's got sugar in it. No, I don't want to pull forward. Just give me my $2.02 and two cents back. Unbelievable. No ice coffee. No iced coffee, no espresso coffee. And then they want me to pull over for my two dollars and ten by two dollars and two cents. You can do the same for because you have other people here. I'm a per Okay, well take this because I have no place to put it. So what do I do? What do you want me to do? Just pull up? Yeah, just pull up. We'll be right now with All right. Unbelievable. Worst McDonald's experience, drive through experience ever. Worst. No espresso, no espresso, no iced coffee, pull up for $2 refund. I could have told the kid to kept it as a tip, but what's right is right. I want my coffee. It's not right. There you go. You're welcome. Have a good day. $2? For a nice coffee, yeah. It was $2.02. .02. Okay, give me Wasn't it? Where's the receipt? Yes, I made him go back in. Look, you can't even read it on the receipt. Oh no, it was two dollars and twenty-two cents. No, it's not ours. That's not ours. Now they're trying to give us food that doesn't belong to us. What does that say? Two dollars and two cents? I don't know. I can't see it. Thank yeah. you. Yes. I think it's really bad that you don't have coffee. I'm really upset about this. No coffee at McDonald's. No coffee at McDonald's. So let's go to Dunkin' Donuts and see how we do that. Hold on. <laughs> Did she charge me for it? It no, says two espressos. Look, it's right on there. Two espresso. That's not two espressos. That's more than two. That has like seven espressos. Well, they put it all in one cup? Oh, you put it. Okay. So can I have another cup? Because we don't want to drink out of the same cup. <laughs> is that, is it ordered, that hard? I ordered two 
two double espressos. Who took, was it you that was listening? Yeah. Was I not clear? <laughs> it's the coffee today is a problem. Did we get sugar packets? I don't think so. <laughs> Can I please have one more thing? Can I have some sugar packets and a little stir? Oh my God. You know, it used to be easy to order coffee, right? A straw, yeah, a straw maybe. You don't have stores. All right, you guys, have a great day. Right. Thank you. Oh my God! <laughs> Are you kidding? Like, really? And we it, we should have recorded it before. Oh it's like God. to get coffee. It's like it was impossible today to get coffee. Okay. That was crazy. Let's pull out of this parking lot and pull into some other parking lot. All right. Oh so just God. to recap, we went to McDonald's. You tell the story. <laughs> Tell the story. Oh, by the way, just so that you guys know, Dunkin' Donuts, Dunkin' Donuts. It's a coffee shop, right? Yeah, it's called Dunkin'. Not Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts. Anymore. Dunkin' Donuts. No, so it's... you dunk coffee. Wait. No, it's called Dunkin'. It changed to Dunkin'. Okay. Oh, it's America just Dun runs on Dunkin'. Okay, so Dunkin'. Mm -hmm. When you think of Dunkin', do you think of coffee? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I think of donuts because it used to be Dunkin' Donuts. All right, so you know what? They don't have coffee stores. It's no. a coffee shop. Bottom line, I know what it is. I'm just asking to be fresh. It's yeah. a coffee shop. And I asked for sugar for a stir, and this is what they gave me. They gave me a straw. But this, we, don't, we don't have coffee stores. So they gave me a straw to stir my coffee. That's what I'm stirring. But I think the, the main uh, subject here is that how hard was to get a cup of coffee right now? Okay, listen, I ordered two double espressos in two cups. Two double espresso. How many times did I say it, Dolores? I mean, you said it a lot. A lot, a lot. <laughs> you not said once, two, not twice, two, two not three times. Espressos. She's saying I said it a lot. Mm -hmm. And then we get to the, to the uh, window, Yes. and they have one cup with like this no full no they didn't oh they didn't first they, they didn't, didn't. <laughs> they didn't they didn't have it so we left mcdonald's because mcdonald's machine was being cleaned and we went to duncan and i ordered very clearly in the most polite and clear american language that i can speak you renunciated your words i did didn't i <laughs> and i asked if they got it and so we pulled up and they gave me a nice coffee. Now let's see if it has sugar in it because uh, I didn't check to see if it had sugar. You did, yes. You ordered the iced coffee also. Delicious. Okay, so at least that. And this so is... So good. The, 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 the espresso is pretty good too. Okay. But, so but that was delicious. like a half hour to get two, two cups of okay, coffee. Okay, so then we pull up to the window and the woman, and she hands me the iced coffee and I said, Where's the um, espressos? Mm -hmm. She's like, espressos? I said, yeah, I ordered two <laughs> double espresso. <laughs> and the, the three of them are all like looking at each other like I was speaking a different language. And then two. she comes with one cup. And she comes with one cup. And I'm standing there and I'm like, I ordered two double espresso, two, there's two of us. And she said, well, we put about seven espressos in that one cup. I said, well, can I have another cup? I don't want to share. I don't want to share cups with my friends. We don't, friend. don't want to drink from the same cup. We don't want to drink from the same cup. And then I got a straw. I got a straw. I got a straw. <laughs> to stir my espresso. Oh, it is a lot of espresso. It is. No, it is. They might have had it seven, but what the heck seven? You, you order for two double. Usually it's very bitter. I like it. I, and I don't put any sugar on this one. So usually I, I like the McDonald's espresso. The Dunkin' Donuts espresso is a little bit a little bit better. Well, the McDonald's espresso has been clean. Oh no, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. And then, and then I and then I said, I said, do you have any coffee rolls? And Dolores says, what's a coffee roll? I said, I'll have two <laughs> coffee rolls, please. And Dolores is like, I don't want a coffee roll. She didn't know what a coffee roll was. I don't. I don't. If it, to me, it's a donut, but it's yeah. not a donut. Okay. It's completely different. Ah! <laughs> it's a coffee roll. 
It's kind of, it's kind of like, like a, a cinnamon bun thing. No, there's no cinnamon in it. No, but the roller thing. It's, I think it's just because it's rolled. Does I don't it have know. Does coffee flavor in it? No. no. Okay. You drink, you eat it with, with coffee. You have it with coffee. It's, it's a dessert. It's kind of like a donut. It, it kind of like sits in your stomach like a lead brick. <laughs> That's all we need like right now. Days after you eat one. <laughs> but they're so good going down. <laughs> they're absolutely and they've got this glaze. They're Are you like gonna share that because I don't want to eat a whole one. Yes. Just keep I'll share it. Mm -hmm. They remind me of growing up. Yeah. Yeah. In Boston. My dad used to take us and we would get a coffee roll and we would get coffee too because in Italian families you're allowed to uh, to drink coffee. Mm -hmm. So what besides the way it's rolled up what's the difference from the um, donut? I mean it's a little bready more right more bread than than donut is. I don't know I think it's just the mm -hmm. name that I'm attracted to but I can't eat it right now because we have the most delicious lunch. <laughs> And I feel like I'm a walking zombie right now. And so I'm going to drink my espresso funny. out of the straw. <laughs> At least I'll keep my yourself. teeth white. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's what they say, right, for, for coffee drinkers. Have you ever seen those people that whiten their teeth and they drink their coffee with the straw to keep their teeth white? I had a, a woman I worked with. She's always, always drink her coffee with. To keep your teeth white. Yep. I'm surprised my teeth aren't more yellow because I I drink a lot of coffee and I've been drinking a lot of coffee. I've never had my teeth whitened. Yeah. I would love that. That yeah. would be such a treat, right? I think that yeah. I don't, to do I, that. I would think so too. Yeah, but there is a point that some people do like those. Their too teeth much. are too white. Oh yeah. my god, they're like tr yeah, yeah, too too white. Too yeah. I mm -hmm. I tried those um the craft the, the crest strips, strips and mm -hmm. they they hurt my teeth. Mm -hmm. I have to take them off my yeah. teeth. So yeah, I, I try I've tried it too, and they make my teeth very sensitive. Very very sensitive mm -hmm. for days. Mm -hmm. So I can't imagine like you know on a professional level if, if they a, use that like know. kind of stuff, but like it, yeah. it being that much stronger, I yeah. don't know. It makes it very sounds sensitive. like it, you know mm -hmm. seems like it would hurt. Yeah. All right, we're off to our next destination, you guys, and it won't be McDonald's or Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> All right, friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little video. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please hit the bell notification so you know when I go live, and we will see you live. Bye. Ciao.